Hi everyone, this is Emily and Noah. Hi. And we are doing a part five, just a little one hopefully, on sin and that you can actually overcome it. So for me personally, I grew up and was around or surround, surrounded by people that made it seem like I could not overcome my sin. Um, but that, you know, if I was stuck in sin, it wouldn't matter. It would just be kind of destructive in this life, but I would still go to heaven. So I was pretty much miserable a lot of my life because I didn't understand that I could overcome my sin. And obviously I came to the Lord and found out the truth of what his words say. And then I realized that I could overcome sin and I'm in a lot different place than I was then. Uh, but I'm going to pass it on over to Noah and just ask you uh, what you would have to say to those who, um, who hate, you know, really don't like being stuck in sin. Like, what would you say to them in terms of overcoming? Yeah, well, I would look to the words of Jesus where he said things in Revelation like, He who overcomes, I will grant to sit at the throne with me. He who overcomes, I will grant the, the right to uh, eat from the tree of life, and so forth. So we can even see from the language of Jesus that he communicates that we can actually overcome persecution, over overcome sin, and so forth. And many preachers nowadays they will insinuate that you have to be a servant of sin because you cannot be absolutely like Jesus Christ. So therefore, you can never have any victory because we're not instantly just like Jesus. But this is a, a wrong defeatist mentality. A lot of people have this defeatist mentality as though, oh, I'm just this weak old sinner and I'm never going to be able to do anything. I'll never be able to have victory. Um, but this is not the mindset that we have we should have as followers of the Son of God The Bible says that we're more than conquerors in the Lord Jesus Christ So you can definitely have victory God's not going to keep us powerless to overcome the thing that he hates that doesn't make any sense He's going to give us power to overcome, but you've got to seek his face You've got to really want it the Bible says seek and you shall uh, find ask and you shall receive and you have not because you ask not so if you don't have the power and wisdom to overcome your sin you're not seeking God enough okay so that's what I have to say about it right and we should trust Jesus ultimately right that he can or that he does have the power to help us overcome and essentially what are the pastors saying about Jesus when they are telling people that they have you know they 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 have to be bound in their you know their sin yeah People are, are teaching people that God will not give us the power to overcome pretty much when they're saying we're just a weak old sinner and uh, the Christian life is that of just continuing on in habitual sin. They're pretty much telling people that God is going to leave them powerless. When you think of it in that fashion, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so. and one more thing I want to add is that, yes, we can uh, overcome, but it's not by our own strength, right? Amen. It's through... Jesus who gives us the strength to overcome and I think that a lot of people think that we might be self-righteous because we say yes I've overcome my sin, but we have overcome our sin because of Jesus and that's just really important to know Yeah, one more thing I'll say as well too is many people that are stuck in their sin and know that they have to overcome Use that as an excuse that oh you're being self-righteous because you think that you've overcome sin and that you can point it out in other people but isn't that what Jesus taught? Once we take the two by four out of our eyes, we can see clearly to take the speck out of other people's eyes. So he's clearly implying you can take that two by four out of your eyes, uh, like Emily said, by relying upon his strength. Amen. Amen. Well, I think that's pretty much what we have to say about that topic, and hopefully it blesses you. Be blessed.